Well, my first calling to the priesthood started back when I was in Cuba, and uh, uh, it was through the Carmelite nuns. I remember myself going there thinking, oh, these poor women, probably they are very boring, and uh, because, I mean, to live in a house for the rest of your life, that shouldn't be fun. However, to my surprise, when I got there, I, well, I saw the opposite of what I thought. Uh, I found very happy, very joyful women, and that struck me. So I thought, like, okay, how can I encounter that same thing that makes them so happy? In fact, I asked one of the nuns, uh, what made you happy here? And she told me, uh, Jesus Christ. But the way she said it, it was different. It wasn't an intellectual thing. It was an experience that she was making. Therefore, uh, I said, like, well, how can I encounter more closely, I mean, more deeply, this Christ who made these people happy? There have been priests that influenced me greatly. One of them is one that is pretty well known to all of us, which is Monsignor Roman. I came here and, and I met him. And remember, I come from a country which is communist. Uh, and in which faith have been really uh, is not doing good. And so for me to be Cuban meant in a certain sense not to have faith. But when I came here and encountering in him a new, a different Cuba, a Cuba that was Catholic, a Cuba that was faithful, that encountered Christ deeply. So I thought to myself, I can be that. Well, my, the hidden talent that I'm trying to um, is the one that I'm trying to develop right now, which is to uh, play guitar. But uh, the guitar somehow refuses a little bit. But I think eventually I will be able. So that's the hidden talent. That, but it's in development. Well, my favorite dish, as you may think, uh, when uh, you know, be thinking is uh, carne con puerco, uh, puerco no? uh, uh, as a good Cuban. But I have learned here in Miami to enjoy of, my, of the food of many different cultures. I love ceviche too. I think it's part of the richness of the city, and I really enjoy it. All most of all of the food that we encounter, I like to eat. Well, we want to kindly, my, me and my classmates, we want to kindly invite you to our ordination. I think that every ordination to the priesthood is uh, uh, the people of God saying to Christ, "We can want to follow you closely." Uh, so we invite you to come May 11 of this year, 2019. To, uh, to, their, uh, to come to the ordination in the Cathedral of St. Mary. You can also follow us or through the online uh, at Miami, in the Miami uh, webpage at miamiarch.org. I, I hope to see you there and know that we will be serving you. Thank you and God bless you. <laughs>